changing my girls around so this one's top which was this I've put on this one and this one's this one's top which was this I've put on this one and I've given taken this one's shoes off and given her these and her ankle bracelet I've given to this one and this one this pretty girl's got this dress she's a beach feet dolly as you can see, she's got nail varnish on her toes, which is very nice. So they're sorted out. This one's got this outfit on, but she needs some... Oh, yeah, she's got earrings. I mean, I found her some earrings. She's got the same top as this one. And I couldn't find any shoes to fit her skin tone, so... So they're sorted out. Ah, oh, she looks well nice there very pretty girl yeah she was very nice and this one I've given her the earrings that uh, this one was wearing so she needs more earrings yeah oh well into the early hours of the morning in the middle of the night and I'm sorting out dollies instead of going to bed oh which is bad this could be Tanya's Christmas outfit I suppose when we get a necklace sorted out for her. Oh. Tanya's ready for her job at the lap dancing club. <laughs> and she said, I'm very good at it. I am too, if you don't mind. So there. No need to headbutt the camera girl. We've had enough of that, I think. Quite enough from these dollies. And they get angry. I don't think that necklace goes though, not with this. What about this? This silver top, that looks alright. Yeah, that looks okay, maybe for Christmas. I think perhaps we need the light on again because we are. We need the light on again. We should have kept the light on in the first place, I guess. It's a dull, overcast day. I've got some baby sweet corn from Tesco, which I forgot and brought home, and they've got no fridge here, so they need to go back to my friend's house at some point. I'll have to get down there later on today, I suppose. Oh, that's going to take a while. Oh, dear. That's another top for Tanya. But that, that needs to be sorted out there with some glue, some fabric glue, to get that little bit stuck down, because it's an irritating. So, yeah, there's another possibility. Right, so she can keep this on for now. She likes her original top that she had. Okay, it's not exactly Christmas, but I thought the skirt looks like a Christmas skirt. The camera's not making it look orangey, but it's not. It's naturally bright scarlet red. She needs a red top or white top or cream top to go with it, because that goes well together, the cream and the red. Here's the baby sweet corn. I left it on my opened umbrella, which I need to dry, hoping because it's cold down here, hoping it's going to be... It says keep refrigerated, but I don't know why sweet corn would need to be kept in a fridge before you... I mean, it's not meat, is it? To run through a quick haul I got from Tesco. Yes, I didn't get this little one from Tesco. Tom Tom Purin. <laughs> he came from a... Uh, grab machine in Japan, you know one of those 
Anyhow, I've got a nice jumper from Tesco from the F&F &F department. Keep running out of space on the memory card, so I'm going to have to be quick here. What does that say? Oh, that's just the size. A uh, fan. I couldn't resist that. An Elsa fan from Tesco. Oh, hang on. There we go. Oh, it's cold. Not cold enough in here. I've got a, a pink. Come on. Oh. Oh. Oh, you worked yesterday. It's probably too, too cold in my room, even with the heat on. Nice. Ah, uh, it's pretty, isn't it? The short, shortbread tin. I've got a coin purse. It's like a squishy. Groyo, Groyo's. Uh, marble balloons. I want to try and make dolly dresses. Some nuts. And whatever. Balloons. I'm determined to try and get this thing working. There we go. Oh. There we go. <laughs> I've got a load of those in the a bag. A pound load bag. I'll go through these at another time. I'm using this one today. It looks like the normal Ambronera, but it's not. This one's called Zagara. See? Zagara or Zagara, yeah. So. Okay. mice around here have been chewing my bath sponge. Look at that. Honestly, I'm having fairy dust tonight. Fairy dust. Oh, it's so very cold. Ooh, it's cold. Oh. That's the glade scented candle. And that is the fairy dust. <laughs> well, I've used one of these small pink balloons to make her bikinis and a bracelet. I guess if you don't look too closely, it's not too bad, but uh, yeah, it's not that good either. Um, it's too loose on her, so I have to try and find a way of doing something about that. But I wanted her to have a one to match her earrings and her toenails. So I think she can keep this on for a while. It's very pretty. It looks nice. Oh, job well done. And, uh, so it's not that good making, using balloons to make dolly clothes. It's not that successful. It's, uh, they make it look so easy on YouTube. But at least she's got something. If we don't look too closely, it's okay. I think I've solved the little problem by just tying it at the side there. So, yeah, so that's okay, as long as no one looks too closely. <laughs> oh, she looks nice, and nice pink suits her. Oh, there's a new dress for Heidi. We've got to see what goes with her shoes, you see, because she's got these high-heeled black shoes. So, it's all right. Not mad on it, but um, it's okay for her. Here's another dress for her. It's got black in it to go with her shoes. But I was a bit creased up, but uh, that's how it came. There's another outfit for her. Yeah, there's another dress for her. I didn't think it was going to look nice on her, but it does. It suits her. But her black shoes are a problem, and I don't want to have to take them off because they're attached quite firmly in those sort, of the sort that come off easily. And could get lost. I think that yeah, that looks okay. It looks very nice in that. The black shoes don't totally detract from it. That's oh, that's okay. That's fine. Yeah. Hi, Heidi. And there's another one for her because it's got the black top. So yeah, so that's okay. Very nice. I was thinking I was going to give this to our Lucinda here, but um. I don't think she needs it. She's got quite a few things like that. And then she's got this one, which she's going to have at some time, which I haven't tried on her yet. So another nice one for our Heidi. She's building up an extensive wardrobe now. And I thought this one might go with her shoes, but not sort of feeling it somehow. I think it clashes with her hair, but I don't know. I was going to give this one to our 
Morgana the blue but I'm not sure it perhaps this would look better on on Heidi but then that'll clash with her black shoes oh I don't know it's well, there's Arlo Cinder here. I think she's annoyed at being given such a cheap dress. Because they are cheap as chips. But uh, well, I was going to give her this one. But I've, she's got so many sort of similar to that. Even though I think it would go with her colour scheme. And um, I was going to give her this one originally. But I think... Because that goes with like a Hello Kitty theme. But no, I'm going to give this one to our Heidi now. And so I'm using this. But, uh, yeah. Oh, trying to get the girls sorted out. I don't know. Another one for Heidi. But I don't really think this suits her. And it doesn't do up properly. Not that it shows and her hair's over it. But I'm... No, that's navy blue rather than black anyway. So, no, because I, I think maybe Mimi or another one could have that. I think it's too dark. Where her, she's such delicate colouring. I think she doesn't need the bright colours. Could be wrong. Looks okay, I think. Yeah, I'm going to put this on, leave it on for now to hope those creases will drop out. Doesn't look too good, I don't think. It's not made. They're not made very well. Some of these cheap ones, but can't complain. I think Heidi's just pleased to be someone who's just not a one dress doll anymore. That was the original dress. Some denim, I think it was called. So, anyhow, she got a few outfits now to be going along with. It looks nice there. The head on one side. Oh, they're such pretty dollies. Oh, my dollies are pretty. Most dollies are pretty, really. There's a new bikini girl. Yeah. I think this dress looks nice on our Lorna. She needs some different shoes to go with it. I did think of giving it to the vet here. But, um, she has those black shoes on all the time. And, um, and at least our Lorna has different shoes. But maybe I think when I find Modesty, the one with blue hair, it might suit her. This doesn't fit a regular Barbie. It only fits, it barely fits a petite, like our Lorna here, so it should be Rob. Babette is a, where is she? Babette is also a petite. But Modesty is a different sort of size, and I think it's even slightly smaller, but more like the Monster High dolls, even though she isn't. I don't know what Modesty is, the one I did hair to. But, uh, but yeah, this looks nice on Lorna, though, if we can get her some shoes to go, some blue shoes to go with it. I tell you what, though, this does fit the taller brats. It's on our Jade Musgrave, I think it's Musgrave Jade here. It fits... Well, she's loose limbed. It fits her, so um, not that I've got that many taller brats, but um, it, so it might well fit modesty. But uh, I don't think I think it'd be too big for the regular normal ten inch brats. This is the taller one, as I've just said. But um, yeah, that fits her fine. I don't, it doesn't actually suit her. It doesn't go with her colour scheme. But yeah. Such a shame this doesn't fit the regular Barbies, because this certainly suits Morgana here, but you, there's no way you can do it up at the back. It just won't go together to do up, and you can't leave it undone, because it just looks too loose. But it would have suited her. There's a new dress for Morgana. It needs her blue shoes to go with it, or different colour shoes, but that suits her fine enough. Quite nice on her. Well, I've put this dress on Sahara. I was going to give it to Jai, and I probably will, but she can wear it for now. And this one looks a bit long on Lorna. No, I think this looks nice on Alison here. But Ali doesn't agree. She feels too exposed in it. She thinks the vicar would be shocked and not approve. She's silly to think that. Very silly indeed, if only she knew. I think she does know, doesn't she? We've had a taste of what she knows in uh, one of the doll story videos on my doll channel and on my original channel in the Dolls in the Garden series. <laughs>
There's the two mauve girls, purple. Um, I've put this dress on Alison again. She did feel it was a bit too short for her, but I think that can be her Christmas dress because it looks nice on Lorna, but it's a little bit too long for her. This one on Verity is the only... This is the only dolly this dress actually fits. It's far too long on Lorna. It doesn't, doesn't look right. It looks frumpy on her, and it's, it's re even right down to Verity's knees, and she's a bit taller. But uh, it fits her just for the shoulder doesn't fit very well. But um, it's, uh, it goes okay with her, so that can be her Christmas dress. I thought that may have suited Mars well, but um, no, it doesn't, does it? To show most of the green is round the back, but you can't see it because it would look nice in the front. So actually, I think this looks nice on Verity here, so she can have this. It fits her well, and um. Yeah, it sort of goes with her colour scheme, so yeah, she can have this. This looks nice on Undine here. This uh, dress, uh, it actually suits, you know, what's her name here? Her suits her best, but it doesn't, it doesn't fit her properly because she's a curvy, but it does look nice on her, but I think it looks okay on Undine for a while. Well, this suits and fits Wilhelmina here, but it's going to be for this girl, this beach girl. <coughs> She's going to have it because I thought it looked very nice on her when I tried it on. And she can wear it over her bikini to keep warm. So that's how, you know, what she's got. And she's got a nice bikini made out of a balloon. So at least one's been more or less successful. Not that successful. They're nothing like as easy as it makes it look in the videos, but still okay. Right, a haul from yesterday from Waitrose. Real mayonnaise. And this was on special offer. This olive oil was on special offer. Extra virgin olive oil. There we are, the um... It was uh, quite cheap at the moment in Waitrose. The Christmas dark chocolate Brazil nuts from Waitrose. Nettle tea, I got two for three pound in Waitrose. Um, this from an independent health food store, you know my favourite acacia honey. And I can have a nettle tea. And uh, one of these from the health food store. It's quite nice. We've got this into sorted out with something else for now for a while. So there she goes. Uh, looks rather a French kind of vibe, I think. Oh, cuteness. Pom pom pom. So cute. Everything about pom pom pooing is so cute. You imagine going into a cafe in real life and a little mouse being on the floor, everyone would get hysterical. <laughs> well, I wouldn't, but most would, I think. Oh, that's so cute, though. I love pom pom pooing. I'd love to go to that little cafe. Yay! Holly in her Christmas dress, and there's Mars <laughs> Holding up the Pom Pom Cafe bag, a little gift bag that is so cute. Oh, I love Pom Pom Pom. Black pepper on my potted up, warmed up cheese scone with butter. It's noisy in here today, oh dear. I wonder it's nearly empty. Once they come in, it drives everyone else away. <laughs> currently carry around. So let's find out all the colours wearing off this one. It's the orange. It's worn off. Crystal. That's coral grey, is it? I don't know, coral size. Melon mania. Peach. Kiss. Pina colada. This one. This one. This one. The chocolate kiss. The ones I can use to. 
That's a pink, and this is a red. So that's the ones I can remember the date currently. The ones in twelve, twenty in tote, obviously. Another crystal one. It doesn't usually wear off these, this must have been a faulty one. Usually at least they keep their print quite well. But I got this cute little llama light in the co-op. Very sweet, isn't it? Sweet little colour-changing llama light. And at least no one can try them in store to run their batteries out. And it says batteries included. So good. before the molasses it's at the bottom I had to shake it up a bit. And this cave aged goat's cheese to try my sheep's cheese tonight. These are the top. Oh the little somebody's coming in the middle of the night and coughing away. She got not right for a tiny cat, is it? No. I'm pleased to see her, but it's such a worry when she's got such a bad cough. Poor little paws. I got two of these yesterday in the great place back and I got them from the cart, cart bakery. Not my, not my, my cart, but in a different town. Um, and, um, See what these are like now, the cheese twist. Probably a bit sour, well, they've been packed in my room overnight, but they're okay. Siento el sol con su sangre escribió la noche solamente.